All right, so let's talk about editing in Camtasia here. I'm just going to do kind of over the shoulder thing here of editing in a video. Now, I've been using this software for quite some time, so I'm pretty quick at it, and I have templates made for different things. For example, this is like a YouTube video that I'm going to edit here. Some things I've done for my template is I already have an ending screen time thing here kind of looks like that and I have it timed out to 20 seconds which is the normal YouTube thing I have other things in here like music track already lined up I have some overlays that I put in typically in all my YouTube videos in the beginning and some other stuff like that so I recorded a couple different videos for this video that I'm making and I'm gonna start at the beginning here and this is obviously the screenshot now one of the first things I do is with all my audio or on my uh you could make this small real quick these are the different videos and how i'm recording my microphone it's in mono it's only going to be on the left side of the speaker so i have to hit mix to mono for all these and i have them all selected so again select them all hit mix to mono you put yes then I quickly go over here. I have a level volume leveling, leveling thing. So it evens out all the audio. And then I usually raise the gain up a little bit too. Just because the way I record it, you know, it's going to be different for your system probably. So automatically I have all the audio, my vocals evened out. I have background music, which is my music, by the way. Sometimes I use third party music. But this song I created, it's actually created so if it goes longer, it's gonna I can just copy it and paste it and it's gonna go in a loop. Anyways, let's so just check this out at the beginning here, and then we'll get into some editing these stuff. So the voice starts here. How to promote Amazon products without a website. That's what we'll be talking about today, folks. So right away I'm gonna take this clip, I wanna enlarge it so it is in the, up in front of the screen and I don't because I don't want people to see that and all my other stuff on my desktop and then I'll just play a little bit of it because sometimes I mess up in the vocals or my what I'm talking about and I have to edit stuff out I'm going to show you this one really cool place where you can do it there's many ways to do it you can make YouTube videos and stuff like that but I'm going to show you one way today Okay, so I just sped it up here, so I'll have to show you me playing the whole video, but let's just cut it right there because we go to here now. Also, if you're interested Also, if you're interested in starting your own outrageously profitably And see now I messed this part up a bunch of times, so I'm gonna go here. I, I think it was maybe this one. Also, if you're in So I know these are all mistakes, so I'm just gonna cut those out. Oops, did the whole cutout. Put a slice there. Split split by playhead. Cut that. Move that over to here. All that. Also, if you're interested in starting your own online profit. Okay, so right here, I'm going to make my first edit on the screen. Now, I actually have these white backgrounds here as well. All ready to go. Again, I recommend making a template for all your stuff. So now we're gonna get some editing really quick here. I want this to go up. So this is a scale up. We're gonna plop that right there. Cause we wanna, once you play it, check out the top link in the video description below. It looks like so. Okay, so we wanna highlight that. Just a touch. Cause it is widescreen. And then we're gonna we're gonna block out all this other stuff with these white backgrounds here. So I'm gonna make two of these. Copy and paste it. To like one up here and the other one down here. So that's the the main focus. And then we could throw an arrow in there too for fun. Enlarge the arrow. So 
so let's just move this back to there because that's that's the zoom in point when it gets here it's going to be zoom dip so it looks like this link in the video description below it looks like so very cool stuff there indeed you get a free membership you don't need a credit card anything to sign up all right so we'll get this arrow even some more stuff here i'm i have this sound effect on here too i'll put that in the beginning or somewhere else i don't know what we're gonna do with that yet put it there for now we don't want it where it is so this arrow too we're gonna fly it in come over here now I, like i said i've been using this for a long time so i i kind of have things that i do all the time once you do it um a lot you're going to be get used to all these different transaction transaction or transactions <laughs> transitions and stuff like that and Whoa, it looks like so very cool now we don't have to have that blinking the whole time either there's settings for that arrow over here as well so when the dooring i'm just not going to have it blink i'm just going to have it like that stuff there indeed you get a free membership you don't need a credit card anything to sign up also please do some so now I'm talking about subscribe to the channel. So I have my subscription button thrown in here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Now I still want the white background. So I'm going to take a other white background. That's the full screen. Throw that up there. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. I make videos about making money online. I have hundreds of videos in my back catalog, all kind of really cool stuff. Of course, not gonna edit again. Cut that out. Jump to this part of the video. Delete that. Move this over. For example, I have a playlist. Move that white screen. We want the video to show again. Now we're going to select the video scale back down. So that's the main focus now. For example, I have a playlist of 31 cash apps that you can do. Now, sometimes I actually will go in and edit out ums and stuff like that, which is annoying. Um, you can use this. And that is usually in this. You zoom in a little bit. There's the beginning of the um, slice it right there. And sometimes it's tricky because you start, you're talking really fast and um, like I start saying you right about there. You could be, yep. So slice it right there. Now we don't want to delete this because there's the video still there. So we just kind of go to the volume here, gain all the way down. So yeah. You could refer with the it goes like that. You could refer. And of course I don't always do it, I leave some of them in, but after you say it a hundred times it starts getting annoying. Or <laughs> with the place I'm gonna show you today, get more referrals with this really cool place I'm gonna show you right now. So you can even make more money, sign up with these apps, put your referral links here, and then you're good to go. Alright, so let's just get right into it. Cut that space there. So this is a cut that there. Now I could also do this real quick. Now I slice that, come over here, grab one of these things, make it a nice trans transitional. Let's just get right into it. So this is a website here. I want to make this screen smaller now. All right, that's pretty good for now. And we could do some zoom ins and zoom outs and some arrows and things to highlight what we're talking about. This is All right, so here we are again. I just did some other quick edits real quick because I've been doing the same ones over and over again. So I just want to kind of fast forward this video. I don't want you to watch everything I do. So anyways, here's where we're at right now. We got the whole video, all the stuff pretty much edited, except I'm going to add a few more things here. I got my end screen ready to go over here. It's, but remember, we set that aside earlier. That's going to be the last 20 seconds of the video. I always want to make sure that, that when I'm talking, I'm not showing something on the screen while I'm talking. In this case, I know I'm not at this point. In fact, I'm going to put some more stuff on the screen here at the end of the video. Now, we've got to get that song back looped in here. 
we're gonna have to do the editing for the song as well so copy that paste that um, again this is one of my songs I already have it perfectly looped in the beginning to end and actually it looks like I can see the dip in the volume there it looks like it's gonna end I could make a slice right there there's a couple ways I do this depending on where the song ends by the end of the video sometimes I let it play out I'm gonna take a listen real quick here and see what happens and I will talk to you soon Yeah, that's a perfect slice right there. So I'm gonna let it play out just a little bit. And then I'm gonna move my end screen to there. Just a couple seconds, because it's just perfect timing. Again, listen to that. And that's all for now, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, so we also want to put a fade there. Just come over here, do a fade out. I always put a fade at the end of the songs. Sometimes it, it's not always perfectly lined up to a perfect part in the song, but you know, at this point it just happened to work out. And like I said, I just stretched it out just a few seconds at the end there just to get that, because the end screen is going to be playing. And another interesting thing about this video is it like, it comes in about eight minutes. And if you have a video longer than eight minutes on YouTube, at the time of me making this video, you could, you could have, they have ads playing inside or in between the video or what do you call them, inline ads or whatever. So this one's about eight, it was at, it was at 808 by the end, I stretched it out to 815. So sometimes that's cool too, maybe let's say it was only like 554 you want to stretch out your end screen in the last 20 seconds to get that eight minute thing in there. I don't always do that. I mean, if it's that close, I do it. Um, but if I, normally in my videos, if it's six minutes and 30 seconds, I don't stretch it out to eight minutes just for that purpose because there's no need for that. Anyways, let's get back into some of the end, end here, what we're going to do. We did that. Throw this in here. Right here, there's a lot of talking going on, a little bit of showing. But this part right here, there's so much talking because I just kind of started talk, doing my end speech or whatever, if you will, at the end of the video, and I don't have much going on in the screen. So I'm kind of, it's going to, you know, if people actually listen this long into the video, um, <laughs> if people actually make it this long in the video, you know, I want to give them something that's not so boring at the end. So let's just kind of move things back. I'm gonna take the subscribe button again. I do have this thing, this links in it. I think this is the link in the description. Yeah, I talk about that. So I'm gonna put that there for a second. I'm gonna grab my subscribe button from the beginning is, again, which I this is that. It's gonna copy that and paste it over there. And then I'm gonna line it up for when I'm talking. What else do we need? And these are other things that I have in my template that I'm not using at the moment. It's good to have a template if you do the same processes over and over again, like I said. So let's zoom in a little bit here to that section, see what I'm talking about. We have the music lined up. I don't know when I say all this stuff. So let's see what happens. Please do subscribe to the channel. Oh, right there. So please, do if you wanna check this out. So as soon as I say, please subscribe to the channel, I'll throw that back up there. Sometimes you get those snaps. Mm. So please do subscribe to the channel. I make videos about making money online. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog. All kind of really cool stuff. Check out the links in the description thing, I think, was back here. So we're going to grab that overlay. Automatically for these ones, you I think it was over here. Scroll around here for a minute. Stuff there as well. Smash the like button. All right, since I'm talking about links again, I guess I'll just throw this back over here. Copy of it, paste. There'll be links for that. Really cool stuff there as well. Smash the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. <laughs> Ask questions below. Questions and comments are always welcome, of course. Okay, so cool. That's pretty much the end of the video then. We just kind of threw some extra stuff in there so it's not so static, if you will. 
It kind of looks like so. So then after that, um, I just kind of watch the video, make sure everything's cool. Make sure the, when I'm using my template too, I always make sure the end is the end. Just kind of like that, because sometimes I have other footage and stuff laying around from uh, other projects or whatever. And then I just export it. Share, local drive or local file. All right, cool. So that's it. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. Um, a quick, just a quick overview of how I do my workflow in Camtasia. I will talk to you soon.